Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host, Phoenix, and today I have my good old friend Jolene on this wonderful day that Hello. we call Tuesday. Are you excited, Jolene? <laughs> Be honest. That is an emotion. No. <laughs> well, um, the wheel was spun. And it landed on my choice, and Jolene immediately uh, conveyed all the emotions that they were feeling in that moment. Um, <laughs> and uh, I decided that we should read about my favorite ship in this little, like, YouTube series that I watch and whatnot. It's a- uh, fun fact, this ship is the second most popular ship in the entire fandom. Only being followed behind by Mario and Meggie. And I'm talking about SMG34, which is the greatest thing that ever happened. <laughs> and Jolene is so excited to read it with me. <laughs> in, in silence. <laughs> I, that's the only emotion. That's genuinely it. I can imagine. You, you watched the Digital Circus, right? Not really. Okay. I'm just picturing you right now is the uh, like the ending scene where the camera slowly zooms in on Pomni and she's having a midlife crisis. <laughs> that's you. Oh uh, right no, now. <laughs> that that that's a little too much emotion. Oh. <laughs> well, it's it's gonna be okay, man. I love this author a lot, which I will put on screen right now. Here it is. Uh, I I technically read the first one that they've written, but uh, I think it's called Love Potion. I read that on stream. This is their other fanfiction that they wrote, and it's by Rabbit Demon XD, and I think they do a wonderful job and whatnot. So I'm leaving my hand, my what? I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving my fate in their hands. I almost said I'm leaving my hands in their fate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's only six parts. It's still ongoing. They're updating slowly, so it's it's a it's. It's going out there. I'm I'm patient. I, I can wait. I have 200 other books I can read in my library. <laughs> this is called uh, Super Crown Soup. SMG34 Fic. And whatnot. It's less immature, but there's nothing bad in here. And, uh... Ah, shit. Where... Oh, here it is. For the description, it reads... Tari makes a soup that includes a rare power-up that is known to turn known to turn your appearance. It is if you eat it whole, and thankfully she chops it up and serves it to multiple people. What would happen but what happens when multiple people put all those chopped up mushrooms into one bowl and give it to someone else? Well, let's find out. And also this has pictures in it, which since we're doing this on the desktop at least, well at least I am doing this on the desktop, we should be able to see the pictures. I don't know if they'll translate over to the phone, so I don't know if Jolene was gonna be able to see this, but... Alright. Jolene, do you have any thoughts before I flip the coin? Nope. Okay. No thoughts. I think this is the most quiet <laughs> you've ever been during a recording. Don't got much to say. Damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to keep checking Discord. My guy, we didn't get disconnected, did we? She's still on here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have a shiny quarter and whatnot. So, do you want to be heads or tails for this experience? Uh, tails. Okay. It's heads. All right. I feel like you calculated it. I could be wrong though. I always do. Yeah. You're like, I do not want to read first. <laughs> this bitch can go first. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait. I think I need to change something in here. Okay. It's fine. Oh, yeah. I forgot my YN name is Will Smith. You can thank, <laughs> you can thank Minho for that one. <laughs> ah, Minho has returned. Yeah, he has. He came back from vacation. And then, uh, I, I recorded with, uh, with Sage, and we changed it so, like, every time it said the word finger, it changed it to Nublet. <laughs> so I was making sure oh. that Nublet wasn't gonna just make an appearance. <laughs> Alright, it's called Oops All Power Up, which I feel- Oh, isn't that like Oops All Berries? 
Isn't that what they- oh, I'm trying to remember. Probably. Think, yeah. yeah. It's the Captain Crunch thing. Yeah. I'm so smart. I deserve a cookie. Tari smiled as she, as she stood in the kitchen, stirring a pot full of ingredients. She was currently making soup for the gang, and thankfully she was just finished making it. She just needed it to cool before it was served. Tari stared at the pot of soup, lost in thought, because she felt like she was forgetting something. Hmm. What is it? What am I missing? Tari thought out loud before she started looking around the counter f for a clue to jog her memory. She was lost until her friend Clench piped in. Hey, Tari, you almost done making that soup with the fancy mushroom in it? Ah, oh, I was wondering what I was missing. Thank you, Clench. As Tari diced up the mushrooms, she, she threw it into the soup and... And in came Mario screaming. He came running into the kitchen at the smell of food. SMG4 followed behind Mario chasing after him. And scroll. <laughs> Mario, get back here! SMG4 screamed, reaching his hand out for Mario, who was seating himself at the kitchen table. But, but Mario smells food! <laughs> Mario screeched at SMG4, pounding his hands on the table. As Tari turned around holding two bowls, she smiled at the pair. Hi guys, you made it just in time to try this special soup I made. Tari, Tari chirped as she set down the two bowls of soup. Mario nearly swallowed the bowl immediately, but stopped himself when he noticed that there was mushrooms floating around the bowl. Ugh, mushrooms? Mario guide as he pushed the bowl away. Doesn't he do that in the movie? <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the Super Mario movie, doesn't he like, ugh. <laughs> I wish I could tell you, but uh, I did not finish it. Yeah. Also, Jolene, I need your opinion. What is your opinion on mushrooms? Because I like mushrooms. Mushrooms are good. Good. Now, real question. Well, actually, never mind, because I'm going to be called a weirdo. Never mind. <laughs> Mario No, Ga it's too late. You've exposed yourself. Ah, shit, you're right. Do you, uh... I, I mean, like, after washing them, of course. But do you ever eat mushrooms raw? I it's a don't no. It's a no, think isn't it? So. <laughs> okay. Figured. <laughs> Cause Cameron tells me to stop doing it. <laughs> Mario gags he pushed the bowl away. Don't be rude, Mario. Just pick him out. Thanks, Tari. SMG4 calmly smiled as he sat down and Tari handed him the bowl of soup. You're welcome, SMG4. As Tari glanced back at the bowl of soup, she was a bit stunned when she noticed that there was only enough for one more person. Oh no, I thought I made plenty for all of us. Tari frowned as she poured the last bit of the soup in a bowl. It's alright, Tari. Not everyone is hungry right now, anyway. SMG4 said as Mario picked the mushrooms out of his bowl and put them in SMG4's. Mm, I guess you're right. Tari sighed as she placed down the bowl of soup for herself on the table in front of her. As she was about to sit down, Maggie came into the kitchen. Hey, Tari, can I have your help with something? Maggie nervously laughed as, she, as if her hat wasn't on fire. Seeing this, Tari dropped everything and went over to help Maggie. Just as the, as the door shut behind her, Eshin Four sighed in relief before he saw Mario putting mushrooms in a soup. Aw, oh, come on, man. Don't put those- can't you put those anywhere else? SMG4 groaned as he started picking the mushrooms out and putting them into the bowl in front of him. Once all the mushrooms were in the bowl across from the pair, they chugged their soup to see what the others were doing. A few minutes later- oh fuck, hold on. <laughs> I need the fan on, I'm like overheating in this house. <laughs> in the room. No one else is in the room where it happened, the room where it happened. Alright. Hamilton reference for all my theater kids. <laughs> A few minutes later... <laughs> Yo, SMG4, do you know where I can find... SMG3 paused as he walked into the kitchen and saw no one in there. Typical. Guess I'll find it myself. As SMG3 trailed around the kitchen, looking into cabinets for gunpowder, he stopped when he noticed a bowl of soup sitting on the kitchen table. He stared at it before looking around for some kind of hidden camera, seeing how he didn't see anything out of the ordinary. He grabbed the soup to inspect it. Hmm, I am kind of hungry. Hey, mushrooms! Hell yeah! 
A new three smiled as he walked out of the kitchen and headed back to his lair. Another few minutes later, sorry for the. It took so long, guys. I. Tari stopped herself when she noticed Mario and SNG4 were gone, which was kind of fair seeing how she was gone for a bit. She didn't know why she expected him to still be there. But hey, at least her soup is still. Hey, wait a minute. Where's her soup? So, what do you think so far? <laughs> It's great, right? It's thought. You saying no thoughts? <laughs> yeah, no thoughts. It's empty. It gets better. <laughs> I hope since you're watch like not watching, since you're reading this on uh on your phone, I hope the images show up when they appear. Oh, okay. Let me know when they appear. Yeah. All right. As, as I'm. As SMG4 typed on his keyboard, he hummed a tune. Probably from a meme he heard. He heard someone enter his room. As he turned around, he told Tari? What's her name? Yeah. Tari fidgeting with her hand. Uh, hey Tari, are you okay? SMG4 asked, turning his chair to face her. Yeah, I was wondering if you or Mario ate my soup. Tari asked, still fidgeting with her hand. SMG4 looked at Tari confused for a moment. Of course not, Tari. Well, Mario might have when I wasn't looking. Hang on. I'll we'll call to Mario later. Uh, we dumped our mushrooms into the bowl, remember? And Mario hates mushrooms, so there's no way I could have done it. Mario said, waving his arms around as Tari and SMG4 watched him listen before SMG4 turned back to Tari. Have you asked anyone else if they might have eaten it, Tari? Of course, well, not everyone. Tari said nervously as SMG4 and Mario watched her. Well, who haven't you asked? Well, here we are in front of SMG3's cafe. It was empty and all the lights were off. It honestly looked closed, that, but that didn't stop SMG4, Mario, and Tari. So they entered SMG4, already, already knew where to find his guardian partner. So as he went to the back and pulled the book out of the bookshelf, a secret entrance left elevator to three evil villain lair opened and three soup detectives went down to see SMG3. Are you guys sure this is a good idea? I mean, it isn't a big deal. I could always make more, Tari said nervously, not wanting to bother SMG3, but poor and Mario were all for bothering. Nonsense. Of course. We've got to help you. Didn't you say your soup was special? SMG3 said proudly, acting like he was acting like the hero he is before Mario popped up behind him. Speaking of which, what made it so special? Mario's curious. Mario asked, making Tari perk up. Oh, well, it had a special power-up mixed in it. Tari said happily, making the two curious about what Tari meant by power-up. A power-up? Like, the kind Mario uses? Mario asked, pointing to himself, still hovering behind SMG4, getting a nod from Tari. What kind of power-up? SMG4 asked. Birds get a bit worried. Well, apparently it's a rare mushroom that typically shaped like a crown, but I was able to get one as a mushroom. Mario and SMG4 froze at Tari's words and immediately knew what power up she was talking about. Tari, are you talking about the super crown power up? SMG4 asked. The one that makes you a pretty lady? Mario added as Tari looked at the worried men. Well, at least SMG4 was. Mario was always hard to read. Oh, don't worry guys, I chopped up the mushroom so the effects cancel out. Not all, not all together. So as long as all the bits aren't together, the power won't work. Tori said happily before she saw the two men looked at her, petrified. We picked out all the mushrooms and put them in that bowl. The elevator fell silent before Tori's panic made things noisier again. You what? We didn't know it was a power-up, SMG4. Yelled, mirroring Tari's panic. The two panicked before Mario chimed in who was lost in thought. Wait, so doesn't that mean that SMG3 is a- The elevator rang, cutting off Mario as it opened the doors to reveal SMG3's room. Do the you nervous but... Do you see where this is going? <laughs> yes. Yes, and it's beautiful. It's like the Bowsette thing all over again. <laughs> 
The trio nervously glanced at each other before entering. SMG3, are you there? Kari called up quietly. SMG3, yoo-hoo, where are you? Mario said walking around the room. Three, are you alright? Where are- SMG4 was cut off by a voice yelling. Go away from SMG3's bathroom. The trio looked over at the bathroom, curious, because the voice didn't sound like SMG3. It was way too feminine. Hello? Who are you? Why are you in SMG3's bathroom? Terry asked calmly before she knocked on the door as SMG4 and Mario stood behind her. SMG4 thought for a moment before realizing. Mario. What does the Super Crown do again? SMG4 asked as Mario turned him. Oh, makes you a girl. Oh! As Mario realized, he sprinted to SMG's bathroom door and began aggressively knocking. Come on, SMG3. I bet you look like a handsome lady. <laughs> and out. Before Mario could say anything else, SMG4 came up behind him and threw him across the room. SMG4 groaned because Mario's idiotic behavior before gesturing to Kari to back up, which he happily did. Before SMG4 even said anything, he heard quiet snuffles and sobs. It's obvious that he didn't want to talk about talk, but SMG4 wasn't having it. So, so he thought of an alternative to get him out without talking, out loud at least. SMG4 hoped SMG3 had his phone with him. As SMG4 pulled out his phone, he began to text SMG3. SMG4. Hey, do you use your phone? It was quiet. But soon, SMG4 got a reply. SMG3. Go away, 4. SMG4 had given a cyber re relief before he began typing. SMG4. I'm guessing that turned into a chick because of that soup Terry made. And I get that you feel uncomfortable with yourself, but we're here to help however we can. Even if it means you want us to leave, because I know you help. I know how you like doing things by yourself. Well, SMG4. There's nowhere here for you. I'm here for you. Oh, they're gay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get I get too worked up. <laughs> SMG4 sighed as he stood up and put his phone back into his pocket before walking over to where Terry and Mario were standing. It was quiet again until the bathroom door opened slightly and a dark red eye peered out from the small crack that was open. You promise? The voice asked SMG4, getting a nod from him, and the person took a breath before opening the door reveal. It was SMG3. It was SMG3, but it was a girl. The trio gasped as SMG3 looked at them worried. Well, how bad is it? SMG3 asked Mario, SMG4, and Terry staring at him with different looks. Oh shit, are you getting the pictures or no? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the okay. pictures. Oh my gosh, SMG3, you look so pretty. Terry said excitedly as she ran over to SMG3 and grabbed both of his hands as she hopped up and dabbed. Me and the girls have to give you a makeover, no offense. Terry said, taking her hands back, laughing nervously. None taken. SMG3 replied as Mario approached SMG3 and started to struggle around him, expecting him more before standing in front of SMG3 and innocently asking, Dear girl now, do you still have junk? Mario asked, getting an are you serious look from SMG3. Before he looked behind Mario and noticed SMG4 was still staring at him, seemingly lost in a daze. SMG3 anxiously took a breath, breath before he approached. SMG4 felt his heart racing and, and it was practically about to burst out of his chest. Hell, it was about to explode because of how gorgeous SMG3 Are you okay? SMG3 asked, moving closer to SMG4. SMG4's face just continued to get redder. The more he stared at SMG3, admiring his beauty. Is this what falling in love feels like? It's beautiful. <laughs> A real Romeo and Juliet story. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did these 16 comments say? Oh, hell yeah, you be falling in love. Okay, yep, it's just, <laughs> it's just being, it's just people calling him gay. <laughs> Which I guess is fair. <laughs> Alright, the girl dressed in skulls. <coughs> SMG4? Mario said, snapping his fingers in front of SMG4's face, trying to snap SMG4 out of his trance, which thankfully worked because 4 started frantically stuttering. Huh? What? <coughs> you good, bro? 
<laughs> Mario asks, putting a hand on SMG4's back, making him flinch. As Mario continued to counsel SMG4, who was a blushy mess, the one and a half girls continued to chat. So, it was a stupid, super crown mushroom that did this? SG3 asks, twirling a piece of his hair with his finger. Man, it's real good that I, I checked to make sure finger was not replaced with nublet, because I don't think I could I could have said <laughs> nublet with a straight face. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yes, I'm I'm so sorry, SNG3. I shouldn't have never As Tari spoke, she was cut off by SNG3 waving his hand at her. Yeah, yeah, I forgive you. But what are we gonna do to fix this? As SNG3 screened, all eyes were on him. I can't stay like this. I have a cafe to run. I have places to be. And not to mention, Egg Dog won't even look at me like this. SNG3 cried as Tari stared at him, worried. Come on, SNG3. It's not. It, that's nonsense. I'm sure Egg Dog likes you, likes you like this. Tari said, trying to reassure SNG3 before he tried calling for Egg Dog again. Egg Dog didn't even, didn't even look at him. He didn't have to, because whatever this was, was not his father. <laughs> I'm hideous. SNG3 sniffled before he shuffled over to his bed, plopping down and covering himself in blankets in an attempt to hide from the world. As SNG4 finally was able to get a grip, he noticed Three's despair and walked over to him. You're not a hideous, Three, SMG4 said as he sat down next to Three, putting a hand on his back. What am I then? SMG3. What, did he say growled? <laughs> what is he, a wolf? <laughs> SMG3 growled as he uncovered his head as he revealed his red eyes that shine like a blaze and his fluffy. Wait. Onyx? Onyx colored hair? Is it. What the fuck is onyx? Is, is that just another word for black? Onyx is the- yes. Oh, onyx. Okay. It's the rock. Okay. My dumbass is like, um, onyx is a Pokemon <laughs> from Gen 1. <laughs> I- I'm- I'm glad you know what you- well, the Words are hard right now. <laughs> My brain is slowly turning off as the day is- as the sun is lowering itself in the sky. <laughs> SMG4 blushed at the sight of him, trying to keep himself together to tell him, You're stunning. SMG4 answered, looking love-struck, realizing a- receiving a surprise gaze from SMG3. I- I am? SMG3 asked, removing the blanket from his head and keeping it wrapped around him. Of course you are. Tari chirp- yeah, chirp- chi fuck. <laughs> Chirped in, sitting on the other side of SMG3. SMG3 sighed before looking back at Tari. Seriously though, how are we gonna fix this? SMG3 asked, fidgeting with his hands as the gang thought for a moment. Um, we could always go ask Luigi. He knows a lot more about power-ups than Mario. Mario said, lifting his finger, like that one Eureka <laughs> Hey, Mario's right. Tari replied before SMG3 stopped them. Whoa, 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 I'm not going out like this. And besides, it's almost nighttime. SMG3 hissed before SMG4 put a reassuring hand on his shoulder. We can always go in the morning, and if Egg Dog can't even recognize you, I doubt anyone else will. SMG4 explained, making SMG3 calm down because he made a valid point. I guess you're right, but, but anyway, what do we do now? I can try researching about it tonight, before we go bug Luigi, I guess. SMG4 responded as Tari clapped her hands together. So it's settled. You guys can research about the power-up tonight, and and tomorrow me and Mario will go and ask Luigi about it. Got it. Before SMG4 could even think about what Tari just implied, she and Mario were out of the picture, leaving him with SMG3. So now what? SMG3 asks as SMG4 caught a glimpse of Egg Dog who was growling at him. I guess we should get out of here before Egg Dog chews off your arm. A few hours later. He got in for. Bad. 
It had gotten particularly late, and SMG4 was still looking for answers on how to turn SMG3 back to normal, which, so far, he's gotten nowhere. As SMG4 closed his laptop, he felt SMG3 snuggle next to him, sending him into another bi panic. <laughs> God, gotta love the bi panic. <laughs> Seeing how SMG3 was had nowhere else to go tonight, SMG3 let him sleep in his room with him, but SNU4 just had to let him lay next to him while he did research. He was trapped and he knew it, so he put his laptop to the side before laying down, only for SNG3 to decide that he wasn't close enough to SNG4 and nudged closer to him. They were now cuddling. SNG4 was a mess, and he'd be lying if he didn't if he said he didn't love this. <laughs> Jolene, you're being Stop awfully me. quiet. <laughs> I genuinely have nothing to say. I'm sorry. Are we gonna have to bring you to counseling after this? No. Okay. <laughs> It'll be okay. You, uh, you'll get to be in like a club with Sage later and be in like like the of like the club is literally we're just gonna have a pinata that shapes like you and we're just gonna <laughs> beat it to death. Yeah, it's <laughs> what is it's that like it's the drawing that Leslie made of like me as the little autism creature and you guys have that to like beat up. <laughs> it's I it's, can make that. Yeah, it's the Phoenix Hate Club and it's you and Sage and I'm public enemy number one. <laughs> Strawberry pork cake. Uh there is a trigger warning for sexual harassment. Mm-hmm. SMG three yawned as he sat up. Everything from yesterday felt like a dream. He thought for sure that it was was for a second, until he touched his face and noticed his beard was gone. It honestly made him jump a bit in shock until he remembered. Right. Not a dream. SMG thought to himself before he began to stretch and prepared himself for the amount of nonsense he was going to have to deal with today. Seeing how he's a completely different gender. As SMG3 finished stretching his body, which thankfully isn't much different, shut up. He began to look around and admired his surroundings. Probably because he designed this room. It's probably because he designed the room he was in. He already knew he was in SMG 4's room because he remembered falling asleep here, but what he didn't remember is falling asleep on SMG 4's bed and certainly didn't remember wrapping his arm around SMG 4 and snuggling with him. Seeing this, SMG 3 instantly freaked out and screeched. Wicking SMG4 up. As SMG4 sat, he sat up. He rubbed his head. SMG4 mumbled as he woke up, trying to adjust until he was fully slapped in the face, fully waking him up. Hey, what the? SMG4 began yelling before realizing who slapped him. A feminine SMG3 stared at him, pouting and blushing. A classic Thundere look. Oh, good morning to you too. SMG4 groaned as SMG3. Sprinted off the bed. Ugh, what is wrong with you? Why did you do that? SMG3 screamed at SMG4, who was a bit confused, seeing how he had just woken up and didn't know what was going on. Do what? SMG4 mumbled at SMG3, who was annoyed. Flustered mess was staring at him from across the room. Let me sleep in, uh, let me sleep in your bed, not to mention we cuddled. Idiot. <laughs> SMG3- I'm not reading that. <laughs> SMG3 heart was racing and- And he just wanted to curl up from a ball and forget this ever happened. But SMG4 on the other hand was still too tired to process anything he just picked up. Anything. So he just picked up his phone from the bedside table and noticed he had two texts from T um, Tari. At least- well, at least one- one of them was from her. Tari. Hi SMG4. Whenever you see this text, know that me and Mario have the Luigi thing under control, and we'll tell you we get some, when we get some info. So just take SMG3 to have some fun today, if he wants to. No, I don't I, even know. I, I don't how really I expect you to read that. <laughs> okay, it's, that's like how I like uh, text Elf when I like have an idea and I just slam my hand on the keyboard before I explain my point. <laughs> gotcha. 
SMG4 smiled at the text before replying to them. Alright, thanks guys. Oh, and by the way, Drake still is sick in case you were still curious. Can't take a pic, because I'm pretty sure he'll slap me again. SMG4 put his phone back on the table, and he looked back at SMG3, who was still pouting across the room. Good news, Kara texted me that she and Mario are going to ask Luigi about the power-up thing today, so I don't really have to do anything. Well, you don't, at least. What do you mean? SMG3 asked as he turned to SMG4, who had stood up from his bed and was stretching his body. Well, I'm gonna go run some errands, so can I come? SMG4 was cut off by SMG3's question, which certainly caught him off guard. SMG4 looked at SMG3 dumbfounded for asking, You want to come with me to run errands? Can I come or not? After running around for a little bit, SMG4 decided to stop at one more store before taking SMG3 to get some coffee. SMG3 was currently standing outside the store SMG4 was in, rolling on his phone as SMG3 tapped his phone as he ignored as he groaned at his internet went out. Stupid Wi-Fi. And this is the warning for sexual harassment. Uh, SMG3 huffed as he stuffed his phone in his pocket and stared at the clouds above him, lost in thought. Unfortunately for him, he didn't notice the male walking up to him with a grin as he, until he started talking. Hey, gorgeous, the man said in a flirty tone, looking at uh, looking SMG3 up and down as SMG3 stared at the man in front of him confused as he gave a shy wave. Uh, hi, SMG3 said, immediately getting bad vibes from this person. What are you doing here all alone, babe? The strange guy said as he moved closer to SMG3. Dude, can you back up? SMG3 said as the guy got closer. What's wrong? Do you not like me? It's like, maybe you like me. The three smiled as he pinned SMG3 to the wall behind him, starting to make him panic. SMG4. SMG4 jumped at the sound of his name coming from outside, and was shocked when he saw at the glass window of the store, SMG3 being forcefully pinned to a wall. Seeing this, SMG4 dropped everything and rushed outside. Before the man could do anything, do anything else, he was sucker punched by SMG4, making him finally back off of SMG3. <sighs> uh, get the fuck away from him, you damn creep. SMG4 yelled as he stood in front of SMG3 to defend himself as the guy ran away, yelling and swearing at them. SMG3 was stunned. What just happened? Why didn't he do something to defend himself when he got pinned? Why did he cower or call for help like a fool? SMG3-4 shook his hand in pain for a moment before turning to SMG3. Pretty, oh my god, are you alright? I... SMG4 was cut off by SMG3 running to him and pulling him into a hug. SMG4 gasped at the sudden contact but didn't argue. He liked this. Before he wrapped his arms around him and returned though, he felt like he needed to ask, Do you want me to hug you back? To which SMG3 nodded with, responded with a nod. It had been a while since he'd hugged SMG3. Sure, he'd been wrapping his arm around him quite a lot lately, but those weren't really hugs. But this, this was a hug. And uh, I assume an author's note is remember, consent is everything. Because as Sonic says, if someone tries to touch you in a place that, or way that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's no good. Very true. Consent is everything. Oh, there's only two more chapters left. We're flying through this shit. Alright, Loving Machine. I forgot how many- These gets a lot of reads, I'm just realizing. Like, each one of these is like a thousand reads. <laughs> SMG3 tapped his finger on his cup, lost in thought. It was quiet, and he was still shaken up by the encounter he just had. Still asking himself the same thing. Why didn't I do something? Maybe he wanted it to happen? No, he told him to back up, yet he didn't. SMG3 sided his thoughts, while SMG4, who was sitting across from him, watched, worried while drinking coffee. He wanted to talk to him, but didn't know what to say. What could he say? It was obvious that SMG3 was stressed about what just happened, seeing how he just had- He's been quiet for a bit, and had barely drank his coffee. 
he wanted to ask if he was okay, but it's like the worst thing to ask someone right now, because no, he wasn't okay. He nearly got assaulted and got and, and was stressed out of his mind. So SMG4 couldn't do much until he noticed SMG3's hand on the table. SMG4 thought for a moment before deciding to reach for it in an attempt to soothe SMG3. His hand shook a bit as it inched closer to 3's, nearly backing out a couple times before SMG3 noticed him trying to reach for his hand. As 3 saw this, he looked up at SMG4, which resulted in 4 staring back at him. SMG4 began to get nervous and, and started pulling his hand back, but SMG3 giggled and placed his hand on his. 4 blushed at this, and the only thing he could think of in that moment was, Holy shit, I'm holding hands with a girl. <laughs> this was me when I had when I held hands with, with Cameron. That's that was how I felt. I'm like, oh my god, it's happening. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'll ask Cameron. Maybe he also felt like that. He was like, oh my god, I'm I'm holding hands with a girl for one. <laughs> SSG4 gave a nervous smile to SG3 as 3 drank his coffee before saying, I think going to that shop was completely use pointless since you didn't even buy anything. God damn it, I knew I forgot something. SG4 whined as he began to pout, making SG3 begin to cackle at him. SG4 looked at 3, and a bit a bit defeated before smiling at the fact that 3 was still the same person despite being at his gendered swap by a stupid power up. Which made Four wonder, why did he realize his feelings for Three when he turned into a girl? Sure, he looked pretty like this, but he liked the normal SG3 too. It's not like he was straight or anything, so why was this so confusing? He decided to brush it off for now and just focus on spending time with Three. Well, seeing how I don't have anything else to do today, what do you want to do? SG4 asked as he gazed at SG3. Who choked on his coffee for a second when when he heard what SG4 asked? You're asking me what I want to do? SG3 responded with a shocked expression as SG4 fixated on him. Yeah, you've been through a lot these past few hours, so why not? SG3 evilly smirked at SG4's words before gripping 4's hand tighter and pulling him away from the cafe. Where they were- wait, fuck. Where they were gonna go have some fun, and then the little, like, the, the squiggle. <laughs> it's- it's a- it's a line, but it has a little- it has a little personality on there. <laughs> also, I don't know what that thing is used for on the- <laughs> Like, I know where it is on the keyboard. I don't know when you would use it in, like, everyday conversations, to be completely honest. Hold up. The little, like, little- <laughs> I, I just suddenly got an ad, like, oh, shit. Have, as I was scrolling. Huh, that's weird. Is it telling you to yeah. buy a Honda? <laughs> Luckily not. Oh shit, are you, is it like the Tetris ones? Or like the ones that are like, spell out a couple <laughs> words? Uh, no, it's like the farming type of thing. Oh, I hate those ones. An ac- wait, wait, are you talking about the accent? Yeah, is it? Where it goes to cafe? Yeah. What do you- I'm- I need you to repeat that question. What- I was like, what- when would you use it in, in like, everyday conversations? Or like, like, typing? Because the only thing I've ever seen that used for is fan fiction when they're like trying to emphasize like something sexual. I'm gonna be completely honest. <laughs> that- that is- What? Literally the only time I've I, ever I, seen I it. I we're- I fear we're talking- you're talking with the little line that's above the E in the word cafe. What? Correct. No, 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 I'm- <laughs> what? Where are you? Okay, it's- That's what I thought you were talking the, about. It's the- it's the little line right in between like the two last as they enter the showgrounds and then that last paragraph. It's a- it's a it's little like- <laughs> Do I need to send this to you? <laughs> yeah, just- Okay. Just, oh, is it like just a regular squiggle on its own? Yeah, just a little swiggle on its own. I guess it's just for emphasis. Okay. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, me either. I, I like how you like. I, I, <laughs> you were about to find I, me for a second. You're like, are the you the last stupid? thing I heard you read? So I was like, what are you on? Yeah. 
You're like, what kind of crack are you smoking? <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not that stupid, Jolien. <laughs> I'm stupid, but not that stupid. <laughs> the two laughed as they entered the showgrounds. Dude, did you see that guy's face? That was awesome. SG3 giggled, he swayed his arms around, holding SNG4's hand. I love hanging out with you. SNG3 swooned, making SNG4 stop walking and look at him blushing. Really? SNG4 asked quietly, getting SNG3 to look at him with that same spark in his eyes. They both got lost staring at each other, the sunset high uh, yeah, highlighting the colors of their eyes. Despite it being quiet, the two swore that they heard some music as they stared at each other. The lighting makes you look beautiful, SNG4 whispered, uh, pushing some of SNG3's hair out of his face and moving it behind his ear. Oh my god, he's doing what I do when I read fanfiction and do the fucking- <laughs> This was me when I had to read the Vox X reader. I was like, just doing- Which one? Uh, the one I read with- I- I did that with you too, but like, when- the most recent one I did with Sage, I- I kept doing that, and they're like, Phoenix, stop! Go- go! <laughs> I haven't gotten into his- Were you saying audibly that you- did you have your camera on, or were you just saying that you were picking your hair out of your face? Some- sometimes I say it audibly, and whatnot. I- well, they can't see me, so I gotta make sure I'm, like, calling myself out 24-7. <laughs> Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I gotta put myself in 4K every chance that I get to get funny clips. <laughs> yep, just the life of a content creator. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, bye, I love you. Alright. <laughs> gonna have to cut that shit out. <laughs> S oh, fuck. SNG4 whispered. Oh yeah, I already fucking said that. Oopsies. SNG3 softly smiled at SNG4 before quietly laughing. Are you trying to riz me up? I should I should say that next time again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Is it working? SNG4 responded as he inched closer to SNG3's face. Yeah, I think so. SNG3 whispered as their lips nearly connected before they were interrupted by Mario screaming. I'm gonna get close to my mic for this one, of me clearing my throat. <laughs> <clears throat> Is Mario interrupting? Mario smug smugly smiled wildly as SNG3 and Vor separated in a gay panic. Uh, no, we were just, uh, I was, um, SNG4 screamed in a panic as Mario chuckled. Hey, I'm not judging. Just let me know when the wedding is. Mario winked as SNG3 threw a stick at him. Oh, shut up. As SNG4 slapped himself to get a grip, he noticed that Tari wasn't with him. Hey, Mario, where's Tari? SNG4 questioned as Mario shook his head around. Oh, she told me she had to go do something after we got information we needed from Luigi. Mario smiled as the two meme guardians stared at him dumbfounded. But, like... Where is she? SNG3 asked, getting a shrug from Mario. Uh, well, do you at least have any information about the power-up? For grown as Mario thought hard about it. Pizza the heck out of me! Mario said, making three and four give a side defeat. Great, now what? SNG3 groaned as Mario lifted his finger. Maybe you two should smooch again. <laughs> The men looked at Mario flustered before smacking him away. As Mario scattered, scattered away like a wild animal, the Guardians looked at each other annoyed. Seriously, what do we do now? SG3 asked as SG4 thought for a moment before hearing talking behind him. As he turned around, he saw Mickey, Woofkins, and Bob walking up to them. Oh, hey guys! Uh Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wow. Sorry. Oh, I know. It is not my fault that at almost 8 p.m. <laughs> people decided to have the dogs bark in vacuum for some reason. <laughs> I know, very unprofessional. 
SMG4 was trying to talk, but it was shoved out of the way by Bob. See, I told you it was a chick! Bob yelled as he picked up SMG3 and waved him around. Hey, put me down! SMG3 screeched as he was presented to Maggie and Bootkins. Bob, put her down! SMG4 yelled, making the group look at him. All right, all right, calm your meme making titties. Bob said as he set SMG3 back down next to SMG4. When SMG3 was back on the ground, he went and hid behind SMG4. Oh shit. Uh, do I remember how I did Bootkins' voice? Yeah, I think so. Well, SMG4, she's really pretty. She reminds me of one of my waifus. Bootkins said, smiling brightly. And hearing this comparison made SMG3 die a little bit inside. That that was you when you're like, I'm not reading Baka. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, nice catch, bro. Never thought you would actually get some bitches. Bro said, pouting SMG4 in the back happily. I I'm sorry, what? SMG4 asked, confused as Maggie smirked. Bob's right. I never thought I'd live to see the day that you get a girlfriend, SMG4. Girlfriend? Girlfriend? <laughs> SMG4 and SMG3 said in unison, both blushing. You know, I'm actually about to head over to my place to have a sleepover with the girls, and you're the new girl, and your new girlfriend should totally come. Before SMG4 or SMG3 could even respond, SMG3 was pulled away by Maggie and rushed to her place. He has successfully infiltrated the girl's sleepover. <laughs> a melatonin gummy. SMG3 sat on the ground, fidgeting with his hands while lost in thought. Why is he still here? Why is any left? It was just Meggie, Tari, Melanie, Psycho, Belle, and himself. And the only person in the room who knew his hand was Tari, who had just been staring at him since he arrived. Why did any of the guys want to sneak into this, these sleepovers? This thought, something even... New stuff! SMG snapped out of his thoughts, hearing Belle yell at him. We're talking to you. Oh, sorry, it was lost in thought. SMG mumbled. SMG3 mumbled as before he felt Meggie... Put a hand on his back and reassurance. It's alright. Sorry if Bell shook you up just now. We're just asking what your name was. Maggie asked happily as SMG3 stared at her petrified. Oh, my name. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, SMG3 completely forgot to give himself a fake name just in case this happened. And it's happening, and he has no fake name. Okay, okay, okay. Girl name. He's got this. Oh god, everyone's staring at him. He had to think fast. His mind scattered as his eyes scanned the room for ideas. Some bags lying on the ground, his jacket hung up by the door, and Rose is sitting neatly in the base. Wait, Rose. Ro Rosie. Literally could have gone with Rose, but... All the girls jumped at the name, seeing how SMG3 shouted it on accident. SMG3 noticing everyone shaking their expressions, nervously coughed. Cough. My name is Rosie. SMG3 mumbled something embarrassed by his outburst. Rosie, huh? Psycho raised an eyebrow in suspicion, making SMG3 nervous. Nervously sweat a bit. That's pretty. What brings you around here, Rosie? Sorry, said, trying to distract the others from SMG3's nervousness. Um, I'm here to visit SMG4. Ugh, why do you bring, have to bring him up? It doesn't help that Maggie is under the impression that he's his. Ah, oh, right. He's your boyfriend. How'd you guys meet, by the way? Maggie asked, putting her focus on SMG3. Oh, you know, just online and stuff. Oh, hell yeah. He was nailing this. Ooh, have you guys been on any dates yet? Melanie asked, holding your, her actual plush close, close to her. SMG3 thought for a moment. He remembered how SMG... Oh, how he and Four went cruising around the town book today. That was just them hanging out. It was totally platonic, right? But for right now, he could say it was a date. Kinda. We did some shopping, grabbed some coffee. And then we went to that arcade near the ocean and played some games. We walked back to the show ground. If you don't mind me asking, Rosie, Psycho said, cutting three off. If you're SMG4's boyfriend, why are you wearing SMG3's hat? Uh, what are you, what are you talking about? Who's SMG3? SMG3 <laughs> panicked as everyone looked at him in curiosity. You have a point, Psycho. Uh, Psycho? And now that you mention it, this girl looks familiar. Belle asked as he stood up, stood up and walked to SMG3. I, I don't understand. 
As MJ3 panicked as his hat was snatched off his head to reveal his messy hair and a crown. Everyone gasped seeing the crown and SMG3 birds up. They knew it was him. He needed to get out of there. Now. SMG3 quickly sprinted to the bathroom and locked the door behind him and fell to the floor. They're gonna kill me. Holy shit, they're gonna kill me. SMG3's hand shook as he grabbed the phone out of his pocket and quickly sent a text to SMG4, but stopped when he heard someone knocking on the door. SMG3, it's okay, we're not gonna hurt you, Maggie said before SMG3 responded with, Bullshit. When Mario snuck into one of your sleepovers, you would beat the shit out of him. That's because Mario is an idiot, Bill yelled from across the room. SMG3 took a second to calm down before he poked his head out the door to be met by Maggie, who was standing in front of him. You promise you're not going to kill me? SMG3 asked as he stood up out. We promise. Come on, now let's talk. And, I don't know, everything's just been so weird. SMG3 said as he stared out into the night sky above before letting out a sad sigh. I don't want to be stuck like this. Don't worry, Three. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Like you said, trying to make SMG3 feel better. But what if we don't? What if I'm just a girl forever? SMG3 said, full of sorrow, as Maggie looked at him and looked at the door behind them that, that led them back inside. Hearing all the girls laughing and having a good time, she smiled. Well, if that's the case, just know we're here for you. SMG3 turned to Maggie. SMG3 turned to Maggie, who was smiling at him and thought for a second before smiling back at her. Thanks, Maggie. I really need to hear that. Maggie giggled before patting Three on the back. No problem, man. She switched their attention to the door behind them as it opened and Tari stepped out. Hey, Tari. Maggie waved as Tari walked over to them. Hi, you two. How's it going out here? Well, I'm not dead, so pretty good. SMG3 shrugged getting a laugh from Maggie. What's up? SMG3 asked Tari, asked as Tari stood next to Maggie. I just wanted to talk to you about the, the super crown and what info we got from Luigi. SMG3 perked up his, his head at Tari's words, thinking she had good news. Did you figure out a way to get me back to normal? SMG3 smiled as Tari fidgeted with her hand. Well, not really. Luigi told us that the super crown is a unique power-up that is mainly used on Toadette turn her into peach hat, but is also known to change others into females, like you for example. But the only known way to get rid of the power up is to get hurt. Great. Now we're in 23 minutes later. Seriously, what does that mean? No idea. Go find out for me, will ya? As Maggie glanced at SMG3 who was happily watching the movie that was currently on, she smiled at the fact that he was having fun. SMG3 wasn't the type to hang out with people. Think how he was always focused on his cafe, or so he says. This is a nice experience. You okay, Three? Tari asked SMG3 as she put a hand on his back. Yeah, I'm okay, SMG said, wiping the small tears that formed in the corner of his eye. As Maggie and Tari gave each other a smile, they heard Belle come up from downstairs and called SMG3. Yo, Ford's here to pick you up, Belle said, gesturing downstairs as SMG3 looked at her. Well, I guess I gotta go, girl, SMG3 said stood up and went to grab his bag. No, stay with us, Maggie whined as she pulled SMG3 into a hug. Yeah, we like hanging out with you, Melanie added as SMG3 shook Maggie off of I wish I could, but a lot. SMG3 said as he grabbed his bag and walked towards the stairs. Aw, well bye, Three, Tori said as she waved back to SMG3 and the other girls said their goodbyes. As SMG3 walked down the stairs, he smiled to himself. They really do like me. As SMG... SMG3 opened the front door and stepped out. He was stunned when he saw SMG4's RV unevenly parked and SMG4 sitting outside of it wearing sunglasses. Hey, pretty princess, ready to head out? SMG4 winked as SMG3 stood there, a bit flustered. Dude, what are you doing? SMG3 said, walking up to SMG4, who was looking at him. You said I had Riz, didn't you? SMG4 smiled at SMG3, looked at him annoyed. Fucking Christ, for. SMG3 groaned as SMG4 opened the door to his RV for SMG3 before taking his bag. SMG4 stared at him annoyed, but secretly was very amused by this, so he playfully rolled his eyes before stepping up the steps to enter the RV. You're really taking me telling you that you risked me up seriously, SMG3 said as he entered the RV and was shocked when he saw a large peg dog plush sitting in the park's passenger seat. 
SMG2 blushed at this gesture as SMG4 nervously walked up behind him. Is, is this too much? Because I could stop if you want. SMG4 said anxiously as SMG3 stared at the plush. It was quiet before SMG3 let out his signature evil giggle before he gave SMG4 a gentle punch on the arm. Just tone it down a bit, little boy. SMG3 smirked as he grabbed the plush and hugged it before sitting down in the passenger seat. SMG4 smiled as he went and sat in the driver's seat and started up the RV. As SMG3 looked out the window, he saw the girls waving at him from the balcony and happily waved back before they drove off. It was quiet as SMG4 drove, drove down the empty road that was dimly lit with yellow streetlights. SMG4 had decided to take a long way back to the showground to spend some time with SMG3 and try out his riz skills. SMG4 took a breath before he made a move. As SMG4 reached over and placed his hand on SMG3's leg, he slid nervously. SMG SMG3 looked down at the hand on his leg. He just, before he looked at SMG4, he was very much panicked, so SMG3 just smiled and closed his back out the window. As SMG3 sat down on the floor's back, he sighed. Damn. What a day. SMG3 groaned, running his fingers through his hair as SMG4 parted into the room with a smile. With a smile before seeing SMG3, who looked exhausted. You okay? SMG4 asked as he sat next to SMG3. SMG3 mumbled as he rubbed his face. It was quiet before SMG3 closed his head up, remembering him. Oh yeah, I wanted you to check this out. SMG3 said as SMG4 turned to him and watched as SMG3 took off his hat, revealing the crown that had that hid under it. Oh, oh my god. SMG4 said, I'm surprised that SMG3 rubbed his head. How long has that been? SMG4 asked if he reached over and touched the pink crown on three head. Not sure, not touching it. SMG3 growled, slipping away for his hand. I noticed it while I was at the sleepover with the girls. I've already tried pulling it off, but it isn't budding. Strange. SMG4 said as SMG3 placed his hat back on his head. Yeah. SMG SMG3 mumbled as he crossed his arms. It was uncomfortably quiet until SMG4's favorite little meaning came on. He came up, running up to SMG3. Ugh. Dude, SMG4 walked at SMG3, getting his attention. SMG3 looked down at the little meme chewing on his leg. Aw, come here, little baby. SMG3 cooed as he picked up big SMG4. SMG3 smiled as he held big SMG4. SMG4 watched intently at 3, holding his beloved pet and let a dreamy sigh. He loved SMG3 so much. Now I just need this book to update. <laughs> That's all I need! <laughs> Which, I, I think my hypothesis of this is that I'm gonna get angst the next chapter. <laughs> and you know what? I'm here for it. <laughs> ah, so you're starting to enjoy angst. Yeah. Well, that's what happened in the first book that they uh, that they wrote. There, there was, like, cute shit, mm -hmm. and then, like, it, it got real of, like, all the shit, and then uh, a little bit of angst. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, I'm living for this, but since it's it, it's been this long, I'm like, oh, do you, I was like, I don't think he's going to take that well. He's, he's gonna, This is going to be a travesty, and I'm here for it. Gotcha. Yeah. I blame you. You're, you're getting me into angst. <laughs> it's not even, like, the angst you read isn't really, like, even that intense. What? I'm proud of you, though. Yeah. I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm glad you're getting to, into more complex emotions other than just <laughs> happiness. <laughs> Dude, one one day I'm gonna I'm gonna send you like the, I'm gonna be like, hey, I saw this fic on Ao3 and I read it. And it's really good. And you look at the tags and it's like angst with no like angst with no happy ending, major character death, and I'm like, it was really good. And you're like, oh my god, I created a monster. <laughs> that'll be that'll be so funny. Yeah, that'll be. The <laughs> that would be the day. <laughs> okay, so I know you didn't have much to say during the reading. <laughs> I but, still don't have anything to say. Damn. Not even like any like final thoughts. Like no, what, what do you like think of the writing or like some some of the pictures? Uh, like any of the like the. Dialogue? I think the inclusion of pictures was interesting. Mm -hmm. Can you at least give I, it yeah, a I solid rating? <laughs> no. Okay. 
Damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'll give it a, an eight out of ten, mainly because it's still ongoing. So I can't give. I can't say ten out of ten just in case this thing falls off. You know, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's cool to me. <laughs> But hey, at least you don't have to read it anymore. We get to move on to something else. Unless it lands on you again. No, I I, I, we'll I promise. To... I promise. If it lands on my choice again, I will pick something other than S and G four related. I swear on my grave. <laughs> Is that the phrase? <laughs> if, if if that's what you want. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll virtually shake your hand on it. That you won't have to put it with my bullshit anymore. And that, and, and in spite of this contract, uh, of this agreement, Sage will be forced to read any SMG4 related content. All, all of your trauma is now theirs. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. So you're taking the deal? <laughs> Uh, I'm not taking anything. Damn. All right. All right. Let's spin the wheel to see about this stuff. <laughs> All right. We have a very pretty uh knee. No. What kind of color palette is this? Why would you describe it? Um. Let me look at it. It's, it's like purples and then little blues and some light yellows and orange. And also, it like adds a purple hue on it, but I don't know how to describe it. Neon, uh, neon's too bright. This is more like pastel. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. All right. What are but you hoping you for? I have no hope. Oh, okay. Well I, well, I will say I'm hoping for. I'll remind you. I promise, because we need some love after that. <laughs> Am I a god? <laughs> Oh wow. Do I be calling shit? There is Alright, I am I am the prophecy. <laughs> Wait, would this be done with that book? Or do we have at least two more Uh we still have like a lot left. Oh shit. I thought we were wrapping that one up. I was like I feel like we've read Usopp eight times. <laughs> no, that one was really long. Oh yeah, you're right. We're never U Usopp is our one piece. We're never finished again. <laughs> Bam. It's gonna it's gonna be like two years from now where we're like, and and guys, we finished the Usa book. Oh he said in my opinion that's that's gonna be me at least. <laughs> Crazy. But no, I'm excited. Usopp is a great book to read about, you know. And uh at least you'll have stuff to talk about. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. It's our boy Usopp. We gotta at least be like like in the corner being like, Yes! Yeah, you Usopp, go, Kaya! Yeah. <laughs> you go, Kaya, remember! <laughs> you that Brady or said remember! <laughs> no, but I'm excited. I, when was the last time we read about Usopp? It's been a while. Yeah. I do not know. It's been so long. But I'm very excited. And, uh, well, Jolene, thank you for joining. I, I know you had such a great time to the point that you were very speechless throughout it, so. <laughs> I hope I hope the next one is better for you. Are you sending me messages? <laughs> yeah. Damn. Um, Instagram. Um. Well, anyway, Jolene's already like, yeah, I'm done. You, I, I had to read. <laughs> I'm a... <laughs> I did my thing. Yeah, I did my end of the bargain. Now I could eat. And now I could. I could either just sleep or have dinner, and I don't know if I have energy. <laughs> Damn! Please eat the dinner. Don't pull a me and not eat, <laughs> please. Well, on screen somewhere is a playlist of all the other Wattpad book club readings that I've done in the past with other people, including one on screen of the last Wattpad book club reading that I've done on the channel. So be sure to check all that shit out. I mean, I'm not gonna make you, but I'll, like, I'll, like, pretty please, tuck hair by ear, put put nublets together, in in like in like pretty anyway. 
And then thank you for joining, Jolene. I, I appreciate you coming out and reading one of my favorite books by my favorite author that I really love. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. But, uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Jolene. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!